in this video, I'll show you the differences between the phrasal verbs take off and take on. Take off is similar to the verbs remove, leave, and when a person is successful. In the simple form, take off. The past tense is took off. The past participle is taken off. And the present participle is taking off. Take off is a separable verb phrase. That means that you can use take off, use these two words together, or you can put a noun or a, a pronoun between take and off. You can use take off for removing clothing. In this sentence, I took off my shoes. Here's the subject, here's the phrasal verb, and then here's the object. The object can also go between the verb take, here in the past tense, and the preposition off. So here's the subject, here's the verb, here's the object, and this preposition goes with the verb. I took them off. Here's a pronoun that substitutes for the object, my shoes. The pronoun can't go here. Don't say, I took off them. But the pronoun can go here. I came inside and I took my hat off. I also took my gloves off and I took my coat off. Take off has the same meaning as the verb leave. I'm taking off. Here's the phrasal verb. There's no object here. You just need the subject and then the verb. If I make a question, I want to know when someone is leaving. The question can be, when are you taking off? This question is in the present continuous tense, but it's asking about a future situation. When are you taking off? You can ask the same question in the present tense and just say, when do you take off? And if you put it in the past, then just change do to did. When did you take off? When did you leave? Are you taking off? Are you leaving? So it's a good verb to use when asking about somebody leaving. when are you taking off? Or when do you take off? The plane took off. This is in the past tense. It left the ground and now it's in the air. This question is in the present tense. When does your flight take off? Here is the subject. It's singular so the Helping verb is also singular. Take off is a popular phrasal verb to use in business or when you're trying to make money. In this example, their business is taking off. This is in the present continuous tense. This means that their business is successful. In this sentence, the subject is plural. And so this matches the subject. Sales are taking off. Take off is used when removing something from a surface or from a container. In this sentence, this is a command. Someone is asking another person to take the dishes off the table. Here's the verb. The subject is you. And this is the object. 
Notice that the verb is separated from the preposition. Take the dishes off the table. This is negative. This is a negative command. Don't take that off the stove. Keep it on the stove. Don't take that off the stove. And for a container, it could be a glass jar or whatever has a lid that goes on top. In the past tense, she took the lid off. There's something in the container she needed, so she took the lid off. You can also say she took off the lid. Take on is not the opposite of take off. It has its own sets of meanings. You can use take on when hiring somebody, when getting into a fight or planning a fight, when accepting something such as work or responsibilities. And we also use take on when there's a leak in something such as a boat. Take on, took on, taken on, taking on. Take on can be used together or it can be used as a separable phrasal verb with a noun or a pronoun between take and on. You can use take on when doing something that's difficult or doing more work. She has taken on more responsibilities at work. This sentence is in the present perfect tense. More responsibilities means more work. If a person takes on more responsibilities, that can be a good thing. Take on means to accept work. We're taking on more work. We're accepting more work. We can do more work. We're taking on more work. And then here's the opposite. We can't take on any more work. We can't accept any more work. We can't do any more work because we're too busy. Take on is often used when hiring people for employment. Our company is going to take on more employees. It's going to hire more employees. It's going to take on more employees. Use take on for a fight, especially if the person expects to win the fight. In this question, do you think you can take him on? So the situation is there will be a fight, whether it's a physical fight or some kind of a conflict. And the expectation is that you can possibly win that fight. I think I can take him on. Make sure that this is separated with the pronoun in the middle. Don't say, I think I can take on him. It's confusing. Instead, I think I can take him on. Use take on when a boat has a leak and water enters the boat. The boat is taking on water. This means that water is coming into the boat. Here is take in the past tense. The boat took on too much water and sank. <laughs> 